and good. How long was it? Five, six weeks, maybe? I'm about to say, it feels like about five or six minutes. Yeah, but, uh, just, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah, five, six weeks, yeah. It, uh, it, listen, thanks for giving me the flu. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the gestation period was long, wasn't it? <laughs> just about, yeah, yeah. Listen, you're going to do something live for us. We're going to have a chat, but yeah. uh, I'm going to play from the album. This is the new single, isn't it? It's, with the, uh, the, it's, the single out at the moment is When You Were My Girl, but yeah. the, this will be. for next year. Yeah. Okay, hit my heart. Let's have a way over here. Let's have a listen to this. <laughs> The album is Porcelain and that is Hit My Heart. That's coming out in the new year. That is. Um, how are you? I'm really, really good. I'm having a lot of fun at the moment. It's, it's nearly Christmas. Yeah. Um, so everything's winding down. Um, but no, I'm feeling really good. I'm looking forward to tour next year. Um, it, we've got a long time to prepare for it this yeah. time around. It was, it, it's been a bit of a rush previously. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think that's just going to make for a better show. Um, you know. And, and you're involved in The Voice, that's going to, well, I mean, you're over here at the moment. You're yes, be, we're, uh, we're, we're pre-recording at the moment, um, we, we were doing last night yeah. and tonight, and I can, I just, honestly, it's so sad to see people that um, have so much talent not making it yeah. uh, at times. Um, I, I was there myself in Australia yeah. watching, you know, Marlon not get through and things like that. Um, um, but it's, uh, there, it's just so much talent, there, and there's, there's this thing where... Um, even though some of these kids are so young, they, they have so much tone. Yes. So, like they're like smoked 80 a day. Yeah. Whereas yeah. A, lot of, a lot of the British singers, you know, you, you, you go for the British auditions, very clean, very crisp voices. Over here, everybody's got such great tone. It's wicked. There's a lot of rawness as well. There's so there, much there's, rawness there, you know, around. And I think it goes, goes all the way back to our traditional music, the Irish traditional music, and the people like the Dubliners and that. Yeah, sure, but there's all, I mean, you can you can try and affect your voice to sound like that, but yeah. you either have it or you don't. And mm. just over here, everybody just has it, and it's uh, it's brilliant. So, do you get to talk to any of them afterwards when they're not when they're not chosen? Or I mean, uh, I I mean I didn't last night. Um, I will try tonight. Yeah. Um, uh, because it, these they need to be spoken to. Well, I mean, like, obviously, it, they are being t spoken to. But. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, this business is all about knocks. I mean, you, I mean, you get, well, you get knocked down so many times, and that's how you learn. Yeah, you know? exactly. And and some of the kids are so young, and they think oh, it's the end of the, it's not the end of the road for a yeah. seventeen-year-old, eighteen-year-old. Yeah. Oh, no, they have to be eighteen to be in a show. Yeah. Even twenty-one. I wasn't. I didn't have a shot until I was 27, yeah, even though I yeah. tried from 11. You were in, um, you were everywhere trying, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I mean, like yeah. I say, I think we said this last time, I took it, I saved up for a year, took a whole year off work and ran around London with a bunch That's of like CDs. Saying, and, yeah, yeah. You know, it, you know, it was it was pointless, yeah. but I was trying. Um, I didn't know what to do, and then you have a you have a platform like X Factor or, or Britain's Got Talent or um, The Voice yeah. Island of Ireland, yeah. you know, it's... Um, it's it is an it's an opportunity. Yeah. There are many more for these kids that don't make it through. And if it, if you get knocked and you get knocked down, then you have got to learn to pick yourself up again. Exactly, as we've done, all of us have done in in, in business so many times. Yeah. Um, and are you in the entire series, do you go through? Well, we we, we recorded the the mentoring stages, yeah. which is yeah. you know super casual, just in a in the little studio, running through the songs, deciding. Um, I'm with Kian, by the way. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, deciding what the arrangement of the song should be and who takes what part and what I like about um, what the uh, the way the Irish voice is working is it's more a duet than a yeah. battle because the English voice I watched a bit of it yeah, and yeah. it was a lot it was a lot of people shouting over each other whereas this they've really working together and then you just have to decide from that not right. who was the the hardest you know hitting the hardest in the battle who was riffing the most yeah. it was just about the talent which is nice it's really nice uh, talking about <laughs> Keane actually uh, and he's just back from the jungle have you ever been asked to go to the jungle or do they uh, I've not been asked Matt Cardle on ice <laughs> <laughs> I mean I think we've got the big brother thing for you know ever since I've come off of X Factor I mean, yeah I think, I think a lot of people do <laughs> but um I would never go in the Big Brother house. That was just something I, could, I just couldn't face. Yeah. But you know, I think and and talking to Kian, they've had such an incredible experience, um, and it's something I definitely would 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 consider. Yeah, yeah. You know, be a bit of fun. Be a bit of fun. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't go to eat bum. 
but yeah. I would go to jump out the plane and to 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 live it, Ralph, and to 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 have the jungle experience. Listen, we we I was eating uh, grasshoppers or something a couple of weeks ago. Why? Because uh, the Mexican ambassador came in. It right. was a special Mexican food day in Ireland, oh, okay. and he brought in real traditional oh, stuff. <laughs> and one of them he just gave me, and he just said, "No, eat it first, eat it." And that's clearly a Russian accent. <laughs> yeah. You must eat. We have taken over <laughs> Mexico. And I had this thing. I go, "What is that?" And he said, "It's a it, it, um, it was a sort of mix between a grasshopper and a cockroach." Uh, was, it, it, was it battered? Was, yes, was it yes, hit, it was so battered. It was slightly hidden. Uh, yes. Yeah, so okay. as I looked, then I saw the eyes, and oh, then I saw the little legs. But well. it was just so loaded with salt. Uh, that it, yeah, it was salted so heavily that there was no taste but salt, so you didn't oh, really okay. know, you know. Okay. But he said they love them over there and they're great for the old calories and that. But look, they drink the worm from the tequila and everything, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I heard that can do yeah. strange things to your brain. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. So, yeah, so the, jung the jungle, if the jungle calls, you're there. I, I tell you what, if the jungle called, I would, I would, I would jump at it as, a, as an experience, yeah. Because mm. I don't, I don't find the Big Brother thing. I think that's very claustrophobic. Yeah, it's. Yeah. it's um, I don't know, it's a bit strange. Uh, and if you just bring your own sandwiches then, really, you know, if you're going to the jungle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll be the Did you watch Sam Bailey last night? Oh, I you're probably working, I, I, was, I was working. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, congratulations to Sam. I, yeah. I wish her all the best. Yeah. Um, you know, I just hope they, uh, they do the right thing with her. Uh, absolutely, but you know, sometimes I mean, you guys are doing so well. I mean, there's so, but there are so many victims and casualties along the way of of X Factor. Yet even some of the people that are, that won that sort of have slightly disappeared. I still see them doing shows in in uh, not Broadway, but the West End, and they're mm. so they're still doing more than they would have been. I mean, you haven't gone back to painting. No, absolutely. I mean, not. so it, it just changes. No, no, no. Yeah. This is this is a thing. I mean, you've got. You've got uh, the scale. You've got things like One Direction, who are the yeah. you know who are the biggest act on the planet. You know um, that uh, unfortunately kind of what I've done it it pales slightly. Yeah. But for me, you know, you know, three top ten out well nearly yeah. two and a bit top ten albums, and you know, yeah. and, the, and the tours and the. But well, you were never going to be in a boy band. I was never going to be. Not in with a that boy hat. Band. Not with this hat. <laughs> Not with this face. <laughs> I, know, I, know, but, I mean, if you think of One Direction, they were brought together almost by accident. You know, like it, they were all from different little bands, and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. suddenly Simon said, "You know what? We'll get a little bit of you, a little bit of you, a little bit of you. almost like pre-packaged." Uh, you know, the man had a plan. I yeah. don't think he thought it would pay off in the way it has done, but the man had a plan, and yeah, that, yeah. that was apparent from the word. I don't yeah. think anybody could have honestly believed it, that One Direction were going to were going to take off the way they did. No, it's just, uh, it's, no, no, no. It's crazy. Twitter helped. Yeah. In a big, big way. Yeah, I see Niall Horn on Twitter all the time as well. He just constantly lives on it to his 25 million people or whatever. Well, this is this is the thing. I mean, and, uh, you know, they don't... The boys work so hard. Yeah. Um, and and it, does, it does take effort to, to, to think about yeah. something to tweet. Yeah. I know it doesn't seem like much, but when you've got so much to think about, to think about, oh, what am I going to, you know... But I'm not one of those people that mm. will just take a picture of a cup of coffee and go, mmm, coffee. You know, people do do that. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I'll take a yeah. picture out the. I took a picture out the window as we were driving up the motorway, and it's like, it was. Um, I can't think of it. It's, it's called like Morris Mows. Right. It was a mowing company, and it just had this guy with a big beard and a mower, and it just made me laugh. So I tweeted that, and I, and I made sure I got his number and his details right. in there. So I did a promotion for man. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a quick break, and then I'm going to get you ready because you're going to do the Johnny Mitchell Christmas song. Yes, I am. Which is just quite quite amazing. It, yeah, I mean, I. I fell in love with this song the first time I heard it. I rarely managed to, to make it through without blubbing, which yeah. is, um, you know, it kind of gets in the way of the singing. It's like trying to hold your eyes open while sneezing. It just bears so much relevance to me and um, my situation. Yeah. And um, it's that time of year again. Um, so I'll do my best. Are you going to cry? I'm, I'm calm. I'm. Well, I get some Kleenex. Will I'm I? warning you that if there's a sudden break, <laughs> it's not because I'm, I, you know, I fall off the chair. It's yeah, I'll hit an ad break then. We only do start crying. <laughs> Hi, right, Mark Cardle is here with us, and uh, just to say as well that the uh, t gigs have been announced for next year, 2nd of April, uh, down in the Academy. And the single's out at the moment when you're McGill, and the new single that we played earlier on. Uh, over 15 million YouTube views you've had. That's a few. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Well, it was there in front of me. Uh, record sales exceeding 2 million. 1 million Twitter followers. Uh, 1 million Facebook fans. That's a lot, isn't it? That is a lot of people. Is that real? 
I think so. And then someone's That's good. Been, someone's That's... been uh, fiddling the numbers. That's very impressive. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen, it's, it's so good to have you, and great to that you're involved in The Voice, which means we'll see a lot of you around. Yeah, I mean, I am so proud yeah. to, be, to be involved, and I, I was sat there last night thinking again, it was it's so humbling to just ha be able to, having yeah. gone through the X Factor, having an opinion, and being able to give feedback, and just, just, just to be up there, I was yeah. so proud, you know, and humbled again. And again, I'd say they will appreciate it so much, because uh, you have been through that process, but you are a musician, which is great as well. You and know? this is the thing, because a couple of the guys I knew, I could tell as soon as they walked on the stage that they were guitarists, like yeah. me, and they had lost their armbands, like right. I had on the first live show, <laughs> and it was like, you know, a child having to let go of the side of a swimming pool for the yeah. first time, and like, ah! God. They did so well, and I'm yeah. so proud of each and every person that goes onto that stage without their armbands, because it's horrible. Okay, so he says, uh, love, uh, Matt, met him on Saturday night, such a great guy, stopped for a picture, quick chat, even though he was out with his friends, he's so cool. There you go. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, now, what are you going to, it's, it's the river, it is Johnny Mitchell. Here we go. No crying. I'll try. <laughs> They're cutting down trees They're putting up reindeer And singing songs of joy and peace Oh, I wish I had a river I could skate away on But it don't snow here It stays pretty green I'm gonna make a lot of money And I'm gonna quit this craze Oh, I wish I had a river I could skate away on Oh, I wish I had a river so long I would teach my feet to fly Whoa, I wish I had a river Skate away on. I made my baby cry. Mm. She tried hard to help me, you know. She put me at ease. She loved me so naughty. She made me weak in the knees. Oh, I wish I had a river I could skate away on I'm so hard to handle I'm selfish and I'm sad Now I've gone and lost the best baby that I ever had I wish I had a river I could skate away on I had a river so long I would teach my feet to fly Oh, I wish I had a river I could skate away on It's coming on Christmas. They're cutting down trees. They're putting up reindeer and singing songs of joy and peace. I wish I had a river. I could skate away. Thank you very much. My God, you lived that song. I lived that song. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much. That is some performance. It's a long time. Bless you. <laughs> Since I've seen you perform that well, don't take a picture of me.